Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Suppose your report viewers or users are asking you to create a parameter that they can pass to your query and then on the basis of that you are going to return the data. We all know that in SQL Server Reporting Services or SSRS you can pass the parameters and also you can do in paginated reports. But if you have to do in your Power BI reports then how you can do that? If you are also thinking about that then this video is for you. So please don't forget to stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. My name is Ajay Kumar and I create contents on Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Azure. So if you would like to learn more, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. Now coming back to our topic. In Microsoft Power BI services, we have dynamic M query parameters. And in this video, we are going to discuss about that. These parameters are going to help you to create slicers or filters in the filter pane. And based on that, report viewers or users can filter out the data. But how to use them? Well, in order to accomplish that, I have to use my Power BI desktop. So let's head over to my Power BI desktop. First of all, you have to open your Power BI desktop app. Over there, you have to connect with SQL Server. You have to click over here on the SQL Server and you need to connect via direct query mode. This is really important. Without connecting in direct query mode, it's not going to work. So please provide your server details over here and then click OK to connect with the direct query mode. And after that, select the tables required to create this data set. However, please remember that you may encounter certain impersonalization error, etc. So to avoid those kind of errors, please always open Power BI Desktop as an admin. All right, guys, I have already connected via direct query and I have these three tables, dim product, dim date, and fact internet sales table. I'm not gonna remove any of the columns from here, except that I'm going to rename some of the columns. For example, under this dim date table, I'm gonna rename it to date. And in dim product table, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get this product name and I'm gonna rename it to only product name rather than English product name. Now, as a next step, what you have to do, you have to simply create one parameter. So let me create a parameter over here. I'm gonna create a new parameter and I'm gonna call this parameter as product. What we are trying to do, we are trying to filter the product table dynamically using dynamic and query parameter. That's what we are trying to do over here. I'm gonna keep it text only and let it be any value and initially let's just put CA for example only the text because I want to filter out all the products with the name CA that contains CA only. Now what you can do you can go back over here in the dim product table and here you can see this is my dim product table now I have to filter this table out to use my product name as CA only. So in order to do that you have to simply click over here and here you see the text filters and I'm gonna say contain. Over here, I am trying to just filter whenever it contains certain letters or the full name. So for that, just click on this contains and here I'm going to say CA. So let's see if it can filter out. And you can see that it has filtered out the data. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my parameters to do that. So for that, I'll go to the advanced editor and here you can see this CA. So in order to use your parameter, you can simply write this ampersand your parameter name and then again ampersand that's all you have to do over here and now it's going to return me something but here's nothing is returning why what have we done so we have to investigate what's the problem why it's not taking my this parameter so let me go again here and here what we have to do rather than this single quote we have to use the double one so one more here that's all we have to do and now one is extra so let me just remove this and now let's see and here you can see my parameter is working perfectly fine till now what we have done we have simply connected our data source using direct query which is sql server where we have adventureworks dw and then we have just connected to the three tables dim product dim date and fact internet sales table after that, we have created one parameter, which is over here product. And you can see this parameter over here. You can change the values over here and your table is gonna filter it out according to that. For example, other than C, I can just mention A and let's see. So now you can see my all the product name, which has a letter A has been listed over here. So that's how we can use this dynamic and parameter. But we are not still there yet. Now I'm gonna take one blank query over here. This is my blank query. 
I'll go to the advanced editor and I'm gonna just simply type or paste this code where I'm gonna change column to product name. This is what I'm gonna do and nothing else. And I'm gonna keep this table name as product parameter. So this is going to be my table named product parameter and there's a column with no values at all. So let me simply close and apply. Of course, it's gonna take it as a hybrid model now. And over here, you can see these are gonna be in the direct query mode. So if I'll go over here under advanced setting, these tables are in direct query, but this table has been created inside. So it's going to be the import mode. So my model is now as a dual model or composite model or hybrid model, the way you would like to say it. Okay, now this is my table. What I really want to do, I want to filter out my product name on the go or you say dynamically. So let me create a one simple visualization over here. So this is really nice feature by Microsoft Power BI where you can edit everything on your visualization itself. Now coming back to your model view over here, we have to bind this parameter. So how to do that? Well, for that, you have to select this table, product parameter, click on this one. Here, you have to go to the advanced tab and here we have to bind this with the product parameter that we have created over here. That's what we need to do over here. So, so far what we have done, we have get the data using direct query. After that, we have created one parameter. That parameter we have used in the product table. In the product table, we have used the parameter that we have created separately. But also, please do remember that we have also created one table with the name product parameter where we have one column named product name. And this product name, we have bind to parameter with the product because we have created already a product parameter that we have bind to this one. So that whenever we are going to change any value that it's going to reflect inside our report view. Now, what we can do, we have to go back to our report view over here. This is my top 20 product. If you would like to use it you're here, you can use it. But over here, what I'm trying to demonstrate, I'm trying to demonstrate how this parameter or dynamic M query parameter is going to work. For that, let me create a new page. Over here, I'm gonna bring my product name. So this is my product name over here. Now you can see the list is huge and it's appearing. But if we have to filter it out dynamically, then we have to use our parameter that we have created. And that parameter has been bound to the table product parameter where we have a column name product. So let me just remove this collapse this and this is my column name product name so let me bring over here filter on this page and here you have to go to the advanced filtering and here you would get this option is not any other option here i can give certain value to this for example you can see ck so let me filter out all the product name that contains ck only so if i'll do that you can see that query is running and here we have all product names where ck is appearing in their name if you would like to change it to let's say BL or black and let me just apply it again. Queries running and here we have all the product name that contain black word inside them. So that's how you can use the dynamic and query parameters. I hope you like this video and now you have a fully understanding about dynamic and query parameters and how to use them. If you have any question and concern, please don't forget to let me know in the comment section. And also, if you are looking for any of the Power BI trainings, please don't forget to connect with us. You can directly email us. See you in the next video.